What if you could upgrade your overall life? And, what if that needs the full capacity of mental thought that's locked inside your brain? Welcome to One Away. Can we even use 100% of our brain capacity though? Well, science shows that we can. Which means you can too. Interested? This video will also show you what to do so that you increase your brain power, so watch till the end. Before we proceed, please give us a thumbs up, and make sure to hit that subscribe button, so that you can get our latest notifications for new videos. What makes people say we only have used 10% of the brain? Well, cognitive and neurological research points out that the 10% brain is actually not as accurate as people assume. It probably should get called the incremental brain. This part of the brain is fairly new in evolution, and is arguably the brain that makes us quintessentially human. Its greatest power. Computational thought. But guess what? It's not always used, and it needs to train in order to grow. The other part of the brain is used 90% of the time, but it's the more reptilian or animal brain. This brain is associative, but it often makes choices that aren't the most rational or logical. What's a great example? Biases? The more bias this part of the brain makes as a habit, the more we cannot use our computation power. So, what's the solution for the 100% brain problem? You have to train the incremental brain, the one that only has been used 10% of the time. Here are three of the best brain hacks that you can do today, supported by some of the most wicked science info out there, and ones you probably have never tried before. Number 1. Write out your RAS. Most of your brain utilizes a system called the RAS or Reticular Activating System. It's a bundle of neurons that operate in a net-like fashion that connects different parts of your brain together. The problem is that it makes associations like a ball in a china shop. You don't want it to dominate your life, because of the biases. Here's a better approach to make use of it, write stuff down. From ancient philosophers to game changer entrepreneurs, many people that want to increase their productivity write things down. David Allen, the founder of Getting Things Done, points out that due to the default brain's RAS, it becomes like a really bad office, and that the brain is meant for having ideas, not storing them. By putting the thoughts out of your head, you free up space in your brain and establish a clear or clearer space. And this is where creative ideas happen, this helps you make optimal decisions. So, whatever mental chatter you have, just capture it, no judging, no editing, no aiming for anything but to put all of it out. Number 2. An RFS for every problem. Jason Selk, author of 10 Minute Toughness, and a sports psychologist that worked with the St. Louis Cardinals, shows that we need to focus on solutions, rather than problems. The issue. 90% of our brain is evolved to think of any problems when it has only one. It commits to this frequently and for long periods of time. This puts your body in a high stress mode, and fills your system with brain transmitters that can make you feel like garbage. In order to avoid that, make it a point to think about solutions for every problem that comes out. Selk calls this an ISF, or relentless solution focus, and high performance people do this all the time. The catcher. You need to do this within the next 60 seconds of when you encounter a problem or a problematic thought. The great thing is. Any solution that makes you happy, or healthy or helps others counts. We don't have to make it perfect, and we don't have even accomplish it, we just have to think about the solutions. Number 3. Get some sleep. It's very common for people who want to become productive to not sleep as much. 
but, your brain suffers as a result. Dave Asprey, a biohacker extraordinaire and author of Game Changers, interviewed a vast number of high-performance CEOs, entrepreneurs, tech moguls, and elite athletes and found quality sleep is a very big factor to their success. Our brain has a body, and that body needs downtime, lots of biomarkers and neurological benefits happen, when we take our sleep seriously. Sleep is literally where dreams are made of. Great thing is, that downtime is only 5 to 8 hours of sleep per night. Just make sure it's great to sleep, all lights out if you can, and in a cool environment. Even better. Get those quality hours in before midnight, as every minute of sleep after 6 pm is doubled, that's amazing. Apply these three hacks and what you'll get is a brain that's amped up for the future. Interested to put it to the test? Then head on to our 16 riddles to test your IQ video, and check out the results for yourself. Want to know what happens after death? Or transform water into wine? And time travel like the flash? Then our video on 10 life-changing science mysteries unsolved will surely blow your mind. What are you going to try out?